Rocky and Grizzly, and I wanted to show you a nice feature in Elementor for controlling the stacking order of elements. Um, we'll keep this pretty short and sweet because it's pretty straightforward. So um, as you can see here, I've got this sort of carousel on the right, and I've got some text on the left, and my text is actually being overlapped by the, the images on the right. Well, I don't want that. Well, uh, for those familiar with CSS, you can control how things are layered in the browser by assigning a, what's called a z-index value or number. Um, so all, what we needed is a way to, to basically tell the browser, hey, I want the featured title box to be in the front. And so we can click on the box, we can click on the column, and we can click on the section and assign a z-index. So in this case, I'll probably just say, whatever's in this left column, I'm always gonna want it to be in front of that picture. So I'm gonna click on the column. And typically what happens is it'll load the layout view first on the left here, we'll go to advanced, then we'll set a z-index. Uh, the numbers range for, usually from 1 to 999, but um, 1 often does the trick, so I'll try it. 1, yep, so now 1 is beating out this. If I wanted to just show you how this works, if the right column wants to, to win again, I could put in a z-index of 2. Um, so it's pretty cool. You could have multiple elements. We could have three, four, five things and control them with Z index. And it can get a little confusing if you're, you know, clicking on the column for one and you're clicking on the item or element widget for another. Um, so you kind of want to be mindful of where you're setting your Z indexes. Um, but I find that I don't need this all that often. It, but when I do need it, it's nice, and I usually can get away with just like the number one. And then for something like say a main nav menu. Um, if Let's say I had, I had a sticky nav up at the top. I might set a z-index of that that's higher, like 99 or, or something like that. Um, so that's really the basics of, of order in Elementor. And uh, let's see, that's it. Uh, if, I'd encourage you to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We roll out lots of Elementor tutorials. And if you have any questions about Elementor, We'd be happy to try to make a video like this to answer them. All right, thanks for checking this out.